Hey peeps, we are doing a little unboxing today. You guys know how much I have loved the Ices, the Kali, and the Mother Mary Pocket Editions by Alana Fairchild. And so I recently purchased the Wild Kuan Yin Pocket Edition because it was on sale on Amazon. I think I got it for like $12 and change. So I thought I would just unbox it with you all on the channel. I will post, I will include in the description box the link to my, I believe I have a review of the Wild Kuan Yin. I either have a review or an unboxing somewhere on the channel. So I will be sure to post that for you guys in the com, um, not the comment section, in the description box. <sighs> so that you can check that out if you would like to know my thoughts and opinions on the full size deck. So this is a 44 card deck for free spirits, passionate hearts, and dreamers of impossible dreams. This deck helps you harness the strength, boldness, and fierce optimism of wild Kuan Yin. Draw on it when you need encouragement to take a risk for what you love, a light in times of darkness, the courage to dare to be different, or, or a reminder of your fire, your passion, your unique beauty. So box size comparison, let's see, what do I have over here? There's Tarot of the Mystical Moments. So it's the same size as the other pocket editions. You already have those. Oh, it's so cute. I love the artwork in this deck. I, I truly, truly do. So I'm very, very excited to have this one. There is a little card with an introduction and then describing how to use the deck if you are new to working with that. And then, oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, never mind. I thought that was something different. It's not kind of cool. It's just, then there's this little other, you know, other decks offered by Alana. So let's see how this, I love this size for this deck like a really really do love it love it love it oh the artwork is so gorgeous it makes my heart very happy so the backings of the cards Oh, I don't care for that. Those two were stuck together and now this one's a little, I don't like that. I don't like tarnished cards. So the backing has the, again, the affirmation, the blessing, the message from Wild Kuan Yin for you for the day. Um, I like the script on this one. It's very pretty. Just in case you want to take a look at that. Cardstock quality is the same as in the others. Um, interestingly, this is not matte and the Kali Oracle is. So these cards are not matte. They're very liquidy and shiny. Okay, so major complaint here. I have multiple cards sticking together. I don't know if this was damaged or, or somehow, I don't know, something is not right and I don't care for that. So I do have to say first gripe I've ever had with the pocket editions and it's not related to the deck, it's to whatever has caused the stickiness that's damaging the card slightly as I'm pulling them apart. Not a fan of that, I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't care for that at all. Can you guys see my... Taurus brain is not. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh guys, that's very, very, very upsetting to me. Oops. I don't care for that. So one thing to be aware of with this deck is that the the some of the card images you're holding um, landscape as opposed to um, how we would typically look at the cards. So that might be a downside for some of you, to me, the artwork more than makes up for it. I mean, it's so gorgeous. I'll, I'll put up with that any day of the week. Oh, guys, so many of these cards are this way. It's like really, really upsetting for me. Oh, I love this one. Look at this one, guys. So beautiful. So 
So, so far, I love it. I'm super stoked to work with this. I'm very excited to work with this one in a very similar fashion to, I love that image, to uh, how I work with the other pocket editions that I have. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping this will kind of reignite me working with the Kuan Yin Dex by Alana because I always, you know, not always, but I, I often want to, but I've just really gotten out of working with those two decks for my own personal journey. Uh, and I'm, I'm much more likely to go to the Isis Oracle or the Kali Oracle when I'm in that kind of a mood, when I'm in an Alana mood. And I, I'd actually like to kind of pull a little bit more uh, specifically, or I should say, especially from Wild Kuan Yin, which is why I went with this one. Let's see, I think I'm gonna hold it that way. As opposed to uh, the Kuan Yin Oracle Pocket Edition. Um, this is, this is a major, this, I don't, I don't care for the sticky thing that's going on. I really don't. I'm sure that you can tell that my vibe is not a very happy one right now with how sticky these are only because like each time when they're, especially when they're very sticky, it's like causing a little damage to the top of the other card. And I don't care for that when I'm, when I'm pulling. So those, those are all of the images. Obviously, I haven't cleared the deck yet, but why don't we pull one for all of us, a community poll, a message from Wild Kuan Yin for us. So, so far, I would just say my gripe is whatever is the stickiness is, that's going on here. I don't know. You guys let me know if you all have had that happen too. Not impressed with that. Um, okay, but other than that, I love these images, I love this artist, and I love the Wild Kuan Yin deck in general. So what is the message for us? Magic of the moon to manifest. Just as the light of the moon ebbs and flows, all things happen according to a timing that benefits the greater garden of life. How short-lived that garden would seem if all flowers bloomed at once and then it was over. As the next moon grows full, set your intention. Your time for blossoming is near. It's gorgeous. And seeing as how we're moving into the moving from new moon into full moon, that is a beautiful card and affirmation for us as we set intention and work magic according to the cycle of the moon itself. So yeah, my first thoughts are I'm I'm really excited to have this one. I don't care for, do you see that? How from the stickiness, there's now like this marking. See that? Not a fan of that. It's my only gripe. Other than that, very excited to clear and work with this deck, especially in client readings. I hope you're all doing well out there in the world. I am sending you as always so much love and many blessings. See you in the next video.